Now I've created this YouTube video for people who've subscribed to my uh, YouTube channel who've been following my work on WDGAN and this is uh, an opportunity to learn something unique. Um, it's now May 2012 and about uh, eight months ago I did a video called So You Think You're Doing GAN Angles and um, uh, somebody who's subscribed to my videos uh, sent the, said the following thing um, you are the only one on YouTube with useful videos on GAN how can you apply these same concepts to Forex when dealing with infinitesimal numbers there is no way to pinpoint exact turning points the same way in stocks that are in the thousands and hundreds which means uh, that I will have to round up numbers and trade small positions with huge stop losses to follow the uh, anticipated moves but avoid the noise so he sent that and then I replied up here um, GAN angles work extremely well on currencies you just need to ignore what everybody else is telling you to do with them I don't want to make the answer widely available here but if you email me at gary.gan.co.uk with GAN in the subject uh, to bypass my uh, spam folder I'll give you access to the video and quite a few people um, have actually read that and I've uh, sent the video off to, um, for people to watch uh, missing out what the master time factor is uh, in the in the actual uh, thing. Now I'm going to make this video um, available to uh, people who've subscribed to me on YouTube and uh, on YouTube you can have your own private channel which allows you to have 50 uh, people connect to it so the first 50 people who uh, who actually buy this off me uh, and I'm going to charge £50 for it. Um, if you are interested the first 50 um, I'll give access to. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the beginning of the video uh, that I uh, sent to this guy. I'm going to miss out the bit in the middle and at the end uh, I'm going to show you a chart um, of what the video looked like with the future angles on um, so that uh, you can see that I died, actually did this way way before the market actually got to the next angle which you'll see clearly on the chart and it just so happens that just recently the market got to that angle and it also also I've had about three requests today about getting access to this video so um, so enjoy now how much of this is going to make any sense to you if you uh, don't know anything about GAN angles um, most of the stuff that you'll see on the uh, on the web is a load of rubbish um, but when you uh, when you made your comments um, about not being able to do it on currencies, I wrongly assumed that you were talking about uh, about angles. And the reason for that is if you watch the basic video I did on angles uh, on YouTube, um, what basically Gan said isn't really strictly true. Um, this is a currency, and uh, what basically Gan said is that you this most important angle is what uh, they say is a one by one. Now, what does that actually mean? It means an angle that goes up at the rate of one, in this particular case, would go up at the rate of one penny every week because this is a weekly chart and that's what Gan says you should literally do. The problem with that is if we put that angle on, which you can see here, is a vertical line. The reason for that is that a penny is a lot because here we're looking at a currency and we're looking at fractions of pennies. So as you can see, um, a completely useless line just because it's a vertical line. He then says the next angle you draw is a 2 by one which is one that goes up one penny per two weeks. The next one is one that goes up one penny per four weeks. But again, as you can see, because it's a currency, these lines are incredibly, unbelievably steep and uh, completely and utterly pointless. So let's take those off. So when a currency, we've got to do things slightly differently. But you've also, there's lots of things you need to understand. You need to know where to draw angles from, where not to draw angles, when to stop following a different angle, etc. There's a lot to it, things that are unique to uh, to our company. Now, the way I usually start is if I had a, if I can't see the future. Let's, let's say I've got that much information. Now, I've got a major low, and the major low was made here. And this is... Now, that's the first part of the video. Um, now some of you who know a little bit about angles will probably be saying well the, the answer is obvious you move the decimal place on the scale um, that is completely and utterly wrong so this is the uh, end part of the video it means that you don't need massive stop losses miles away from where you are it means that you can actually trade on the angle with a close stop loss so if you're wrong you'll take a small loss which is the secret to making money 
Um, if it doesn't work, um, yeah, then uh, you just get stop lost out and take a small loss. Um, I would never trade this one the second time it hits this, say, this angle here, the 716, because it's worked once. I wouldn't trade it a second time because now it's a trend line. Anybody who's got a ruler would draw a line from that major low through that low there and would be looking to buy here. So you can see that it encourages people to get in and it makes very big spreads up and down and then comes shooting down to catch them out. So never trade trend lines. Bit complicated. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, that's what I said in uh, September of uh, 2011, and uh, I've hidden what the actual angles are on uh, the chart that I did back in September. Um, but, I've, but I actually left the last one on, which was a 1 by 8, 1, 9, 2, and I've put the, exactly the same angle on the chart. I've also tried to scale this chart, um, as, well, it's exactly the same scale. Um, as I did the video back in uh, September of uh, 2011. So this angle was on before the market ever got there and this is what the chart looked like looked like at the time. So let's see what happened when it got to that angle. The market goes shooting up, goes sideways, comes down, there's movements up and down all over the place, then the market starts to fall then it comes down then it gets to its here now at the time the trend is very strongly in favor of the pound against the US dollar um, and we reach the angle the 1 by 18192 um, it's now May of 2012 I put the angle on uh, seven months before the market ever got there let's see what happens once it touches it now you can see here that the market had been falling for at least 13 days or so and uh, this is what's happened the market has stopped on the angle now once I'm in a trade all I basically do is follow GAN's uh, stop loss rules which uh, we have a, a course on about staying in the market once you're in there and uh, by using those rules in fact you would still be in the trade as we speak um, I would have moved my stop loss to my break even point but what I'm trying to show you here is that the angle was put on a long time before the market ever got there. Now I'm just inserting this bit into the video. Um, I did the original video on the 11th of May uh, 2012 and it's now the uh, 28th of May and uh, we'll just bring it up to date and see what's happened since. So as I said it's hit the angle and since then the US dollar has been very strong against pound sterling and we've had this big rise up and in fact if you follow uh, uh, the stop loss rules that we actually use in fact you would still be in this trade as it stands uh, at the moment in fact the stop loss currently would be below this low here uh, if you've watched some of the other videos that I've done um, I've said the secret to making money um, is to make small losses when wrong but you've got to stay in good trades you've got to make big profits when you're right and I explained there why I don't believe tra day trading is a way to make money now all I've done here is showing you one very long term angle that doesn't mean there aren't other uh, trades to, uh, in this here where um, you know you could draw angles from say this low here and this low here and angles coming down from the high but this is a very very long term signal where you're looking for big changes in trend and uh, as I said you've got to try and make big profits and you're not going to make big profits by finding small little movements so um, I'll just finish off with what I said in the video uh, that I did uh, on the 11th of May so if you're interested uh, in purchasing uh, the entire video um, then if you email me at gary at gan.co.uk put gan in the subject to get through my uh, spam email filter and I'll make it available to you I'll give you more information thank you for watching